Testing one, two, one, two. It took me a while to actually want to record this video and post it because I just didn't feel like I had much to offer this week. This is basically what I start my day doing. I wash my face. I did brush my teeth, but I did not film that because I don't want you guys looking at me brushing my teeth. So I basically wake up and get my face ready and I wash it and brush my teeth and then I put this moisturizer on which I love so much because it keeps my face so hydrated. I did buy two fillets because I wanted to make my favorite dinner that I've ever made but I ended up just cooking them because I thought they were going to go bad if I waited too long to make them so I cooked both just so I can put some of them away and I cooked some plantains and I served that with the meal For dinner, I actually made some noodles with vegetables and sauce. I normally would make the sauce from scratch, but I just didn't feel like buying tomatoes this time around, so I didn't bother doing that. I just got the sauce and I chopped up some peppers and just put them in the pan with the noodles. I personally would saute the noodles first and then add the peppers because I kind of like the peppers a little crunchy. I don't want them to be super soft when I'm eating them. So they get a little soft as I cook them with my noodles and my sauce and stuff. I've been feeling so blah this week i haven't been motivated to do anything i don't know why i've been feeling like that but it's been just a downer for me and i almost didn't film a video because i didn't want to just give you anything like i don't want to give you just random silly things i want to be able to give you a lesson or some sort of advice with my videos but my main advice is basically just push through and do it anyway. I actually have been to my second pottery class and this is what this portion of the video is going to be. I actually learned so much from binging the great pottery throwdown and i tried implementing some of it in this lesson that i had and i came up with some really cute pieces so i'm really happy about what i did and i'm thankful that there is some growth in that process because i didn't think that i was going to actually make anything i didn't think that i was going to be progressing from what I learned the first time so I'm grateful that I was able to go again and do something with my work I've actually just been considering trying to buy a wheel if I can afford it and find a way to get a kiln that I could plug into my house because I don't know if that's even allowed because kilns are very dangerous they could blow up in your house and cause a fire but I've been just looking at alternatives of things that I could have in my apartment and hopefully I can start making art 
because I'm so obsessed with pottery right now and I'm really happy that I could create things out of mud, basically. It's also been very therapeutic and it's been very soothing to just manipulate clay. It's something I never thought that I would do on my own. And I'm so grateful that I was able to just take a chance and do it. And I'm glad that I love it because now it's something that I want to do all the time. <laughs> I don't know where my life is going to take me, honestly. I have no idea what my future is going to be like. I don't have any plans, but right now, this brings me joy. And there are so many good things that have been happening with friendships and just fun, good conversations with friends and family is good. And I'm really grateful for that. My health is amazing, so I'm happy about that too. And I just want to keep creating these cute little things. I hope that I could make something that I'm proud of and that I could potentially maybe open up a shop someday and teach people how to do this too because it's such a great art technique that I just didn't think I would enjoy. So... I'm happy about this. Thank you for watching my video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.